Are you a fan of Joe Dispenza? So am I. Now, my name is Taras Machula, and I'll be sharing with you the secret of how Joe Dispenza is literally hiding from you. He's hiding the exact secret that you need to be aware of in order for you to grow through your body, through your mind, and through your soul. So, welcome to my channel. My name is Taras Machula. I'm a spiritual regression hypnotherapist that has taken hundreds of people through spiritual regression in order to heal many physical, many mental, and, and also body problems that a person may have. So, I'm also a fan of Joe Dispenza, and I've been reading his books, Becoming S Supernatural, and so forth. And I'd like to do a deep dive into explaining to you what Joe Dispenza is hiding from you, and the key to evolving from his teachings and growing. So, Joe Dispenza talks about a lot about the body, he talks about the mind, he talks about specifically the supernatural you. How if you change the way you start thinking, how if you apply science to uh, how you're evolving as a personality, how your brain is evolved and you can change it through meditation, through visualization, you can become a better you. And what is a better you? Oh, is it having a bigger car? Is it having a bigger house? Is it doing the things you want to do? and you can kind of like structure it in your own belief system, your own dreams, or something like that. But in reality, what Joe's doing is that he's feeding you baby formula. He's limiting your evolution because he's focusing it on a limited understanding of who you are. He's focusing that your understanding is based upon your body and how you're feeling, and now we have to focus in on the mind and we have to rejig the mind, reform the mind, re-evolve the mind so that based on science, we can create a better you that you can live in your personality in this lifetime, becoming more successful, having more money, having a better, a better life. But what he's missing out is on key, five key factors and finally the secret to all his teachings, which whenever I'm reading his books, I almost want to grab his books and throw them at the wall and go, Joe, why don't you just say it out loud because the people need to hear this. So let's get into it. Number one, religion. All of you are probably frustrated with religion and specifically with the organized religion. Recently, the Roman Catholic Church has had tremendous difficulty with managing the sexual trauma, the sexual pedophiles that are involved in the organized religion. Have they done anything to change it? No. Have we, have we keep on reading about uh, inappropriate pastors? Yes. Have we also studied different organized religious faiths and found out that instead of helping the poor, what they're doing is amassing billions, i.e. the Mormon church, and giving it into stocks, becoming huge landowners, uh, supporting their own universities, sending money from Canada to the U.S., etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and people get frustrated with re organized religion, and they think religion means God, but religion doesn't mean God. Religion is man's ability to organize themselves in an organized fashion on a belief system that they try to get people involved. And so they're using the Godhead, the God figure, to basically structure themselves and organize your spiritual belief system in, in, in order to basically become wealthy themselves, be it an organized religion, uh, be it an individual pastor or uh, a group of pastors or uh, a larger group. So because you're frustrated with religion, you equate that to spirituality. You shouldn't be doing that because spirituality is so much more different than religion. Spirituality is an experience. Religion is based upon the belief system, and I'll explain that in my other videos. Number two, you're focusing on science, and because you're so frustrated with religion, you decide, well, forget about the pastor and everything. I know that meditation helps and so forth. Let's focus on the science. Yes, there is science. Yes, you are. You, you can evaluate it, and Joe does a great job. He focuses on epigenetic testing. He focuses on 
uh, the gas discharge visualization. And what it does is it gives you the basis to understand what is happening to the brain. Now, don't put all your eggs in that basket of looking at science as the solution. That is very key because you have to understand it a little bit, but science is just a part of it because it's focusing on your body and it tells you what's happening to your mind, but we're missing one huge key factor, which I will tell you shortly. Then he's focusing on belief in your own experience, okay? Now, you're, you know how you feel every day and every day you get up, you have the same personality and how are you gonna change your personality to evolve? So he's talking about bringing in a meditation practice that will affect your brain chemistry and affect what's happening in your brain, making you feel better, making you attain uh, your goals and expand your consciousness. Now, what he, what he fails to, to mention will be explained right now. He fails to mention that your experience is based upon your belief system of who you want to become. Have you ever thought about the fact that you have a particular goal that you had to develop? And why don't we go to, the, to when you were developing that goal? Maybe, for example, your soul was developing a goal that you have to meet in this particular life. Or maybe, for example, what is your definition of happiness? Is it just based on the financial? Or maybe it's the based on the pictures you have, the pretty wife or husband? Or is it greater? What is true happiness? And, and define that for yourself. And how does that align with your soul? Now, number Four, he talks about basically um, this idea of brain healing the brain or healing the body from disease. Okay, and if we heal the body and the mind, we'll get into balance. Now, the key to all of this is healing the heart. And let's let me explain what is the heart. The heart is love. Okay, if we heal the heart we will solve this idea of healing the body and the mind through the heart. But when you think of it spiritually, I had this wonderful discussion I had with, with a, a priest, and we started talking about Jesus. And, I, and for those who are angry at religion, hear me out. Jesus, what is Jesus in one word? And this priest said to me, well, he is love. And I said to him, well, where is love located? Well, love is located in the heart, if you were to look at it at the body. So if love is located in the heart, why don't we study the heart, make peace with the heart, and subsequently we can make peace with ourselves and our spirits. And then we can expand that into making peace with a Godhead, a God, the great consciousness beyond, if we make peace with our heart. And lastly, the secret that Joe has been keeping away from you is healing the spirit. If we heal the heart, we will heal the spirit. Once we heal the spirit, the body, the mind will follow. That is very normal and that's what's going to happen. And through Joe's teaching, where he focuses on personality, focuses on the mind, focuses on the body, he never talks about straight out heal the spirit and what I'm, what this channel is all about is teaching you ways of healing the spirit expanding that connection making you go beyond your body and mind making you be able to connect to everything and the great consciousness beyond so please join me and i'll teach you how to do that and i'll expand on this very important message